We left last Saturday for Punta Cana. Mm -hmm. So, but we get down there. You know what? You're like, okay, don't have much sleep. Maybe we all take it easy. You know, get dinner. Kind of first night, relax. Went to the casino, went to the club, and it was just the guys. And we, I mean, no girl even sniffed our area. I mean, it was just six Wisconsinites, just fatter than hell, just dancing, sweating, sweating everywhere. UW Lacrosse, they are out for a chancellor search. It is down to three, Kyle. For everyone that doesn't understand or doesn't know, Joe Gal was fired for producing and being in porn videos. Yep. Who do you think they got coming up? Johnny Sins? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know how you back it up. I mean, I think it'd be like, that'd be funny. Johnny Sins. <laughs> Dude, the fucker's like a doctor. He's I mean, a police go officer. Depth search on this now. Yeah. No, they have three like very, I, I mean, I didn't write it down any of the names, but they all look very professional and qualified. So mm-hmm. definitely not Johnny Sins. Welcome to another episode of Shadow Wisco Podcast. Corey Kaiser sitting here. Kyle Pickle Kyle over there. Pickle. Kyle Pickle sitting over there. Uh, yep. It's Tuesday, March 5th, 4.30. We got Kyle's little brother behind the the stand over here. Brendan, hey, how's it going? Good, good. So we got a nice little jam-packed show for you guys today. A bunch of news. Had a week off. Had a week off. Corey went on vacation. I drank enough uh, island rum, I think, for everybody. What? Oh, the light's not on? Bothering you? Okay. We got a routine here. There you go. Okay. Uh, So we have a lot of news to talk about. Um... Top fives, we have hypothetical questions, tier lists, you name it, we got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Kyle, we got Shot of Whisper podcast shirts. Look at these bad boys. Yep. They feel good. They do. Yeah, so uh, we're Very rocking. Nice. We're both rocking them. So uh, we have a big a big show. Before we get into it, oh, no, we always go into intro. I'm a little rusty. We we're a week off. Usually we go intro, then we do weekend. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, hit, hit it. Go ahead. Take us to the music. Oh, you're buying the shorts that you just threw on? So everyone, I want, I want everyone to understand, for one, it's very nice outside. It is. It is fall spring, full fall spring alert. We are in it, in fall spring. It is, what would you, ballpark outside, 55, 60? I'll tell you right now, 53. 53, cheater. Okay, 53 degrees, so Kyle wore pants like an idiot. Like an idiot. I had to work. Fucking idiot. You went home. No, I didn't. Oh, you came right from work? Yeah. Okay. Come over seeing you. Yeah, you did. Um, so Kyle threw on a pair of the shorts that we have up here. Luckily that, you know, we we work in a building that is a retail store and yep. has clothes everywhere. Yep. So Kyle is now wearing shorts and he's buying them because mm-hmm. he's a sweaty motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I am hot. Could you imagine you put those back high. and someone got them like, oh my God. Yeah. These can't smell good. These reek. Uh-huh. <laughs> they are. They're sweatpants. I would get canceled forever, I think. Sweatpants sweater too, so I mean they're not. Like, yeah, you're yeah, still, cool. you're like, still, I'm yeah, I'm you're hot. still sweating for mm-hmm. sure, mm-hmm. for sure. So okay, let's dive in. Let's chat a little bit. I'm gonna give you a full rundown. Give me it. Okay, so we left last Saturday for Punta Cana. Mm-hmm. Punta Cana. Mm-hmm. Uh, we stayed on a resort with about 22 people. Not that's about that's exactly lot. 22 people. Actually, 21 people. Um, and it was a blast. We all inclusive resort. Food was actually surprisingly awesome. Yeah. All like the sit down meals that night. Great. Um, I think the first three nights I ran vodka sodas or vodka sprites into the ground. Had to get off the vodka for a little bit. So I went to Island Rum. Yeah. Rum and Cokes. How'd that treat you? You know that, you know what? There's something to say about Island, about Rum and Cokes. That hangover just hits different. Yeah. And you can, you can smell it Mm -hmm. too. So we get down there. I think, well, for one, before we left on Saturday, Friday night, we get to Chicago. We spend the night. We stayed, the boys, we all stayed up till two in the morning. Classic. So, yeah. it, and then left at 4.45 for Punacana. So, so, we got two hours of sleep. Your flight was at 4.45? No, we yeah. left at four, the hotel at 4.45. Oh, God. Yeah, so that was you a little probably, rough. You probably slept good on the plane, though, didn't you? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, not at all. So, but we get down there. We, Monday night, you know what? You're like, okay, don't have much sleep. Maybe we all take it easy, you know, get dinner. Kind of first That's night, relax. Works. Went to the casino. Yeah. Went to the club. 
And it was just the guys. And we, I mean, no girl even sniffed our area. I mean, it was just five, six Wisconsinites, just fatter in hell, just dancing, sweating, sweating everywhere. Good time. Yeah, but it was, was a blast. Was it hot down there? 80. That's so, strange. did that Tuesday, pulled it all day. That's nice. Walk up pool, just got absolutely loaded. Um, took a nap. Mid, I think that was the best part. That's is that's you take it. the midday yeah. nap and come You're back drunk. out for dinner. Yeah. Um, so that was cool. So you got drunk twice every day. But, and then Wednesday we went, no, Tuesday we went to, uh, golf. We went to a golf resort and golfed us guys. And you know, it was probably the nicest golf course I ever golfed right on the ocean. Mm-hmm. Um, did you get balls in water? I did. I did hit a couple, mm-hmm. uh, definitely a little rusty, mm-hmm. but it was good. I, I actually hit the ball really, really well, but okay. Not here to talk about golf. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then booze cruise Thursday. Holy mother Toledo. Mm-hmm. We had a guy out there and I'm telling you, you could have bought whatever you wanted from this guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Fucking necklaces, weaved fucking hats, drugs. I mean, whatever. Yeah. This guy was the one-stop shop. A lot of them are. Yeah, he had, he had like necklaces and all that stuff. I'm like, what do you all got? And he opened it up, like, ta. And it was every illegal narcotic drug you want. Oh, probably, he had yeah. in that fucking thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> so uh, bought Tia a bracelet. Yeah, so you got to buy yeah. something. Yeah, okay. bought bought her like a six dollar bracelet. Uh-huh. And he's like, that's the the worst thing I could sell right there. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we get we all go out there loaded. I mean, they're playing colder weather. Mm-hmm. They're playing. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm I gotta think of the song that they kept playing. Um, we used to run away. Oh. I wanna run yep. away. Oh man, Galantis. In Gal- yep, Galantis. So basically, got absolutely loaded. Probably the drunkest I was all trip. Um, Whose cruises get you? Oh yeah, it got me good. And I was super hungover before we did it. Your boat ride was wild to get onto the boat that you guys were on. Yeah, they, we <laughs> hopped on a dinghy, and it was, like, very windy, big waves. And I thought we were going under. We had a guy that was taking water out of the out of our dinghy <laughs> with a bucket <laughs> to make sure we didn't be saved. We had fucking 15 people on it. Yeah. So, um, whatever. We come back. We go to the swim-up bar. Uh, I just remember that I had the hiccups. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get rid of them. So, um, Connor and Devin were holding me underwater oh. to try to get rid of the hiccups. You can't hiccup underwater. It's just, you can't. So I drowned. to like everyone else around the pool, it looked like they drowning. were drowning me <laughs> and I'd come up, <laughs> I'd hiccup again. So out of nowhere, I just, I just stood here like, all right, Connor, in the next 10 minutes, just come up and smoke me. The work just hit me. So he hit me, drug me into the ground, pile drove me right into the, the floor of the pool. Ooh. Came up. No more hiccups. There we go. Yeah. You scared yourself. Also, Tia taught me tricks. I was hiccuping as I was coming off. This up. I mean, I was fucking dickered on yeah. this boat. So on the way off, I was hiccuping. Tia was like, I'm like, I got to get rid of these hiccups. You know, cause once, once you got them, I mean, it's, it's, it's stage one crisis getting rid of these hiccups. She told me to, so you take a drink of water and you sit upside down and you drink it like upside down. You swallow it. No, you're like, in. so you're like, your head's between your legs yeah. and then you take a drink upside down immediately gone. Really? Yeah. I've heard of it before. It was never successful. Yeah. So, all in all, very fun trip. Came back Friday. Didn't do anything Saturday, Sunday. Needed two days of, of what do you call it? R- R&R. R&R. Yeah. Oh. Rest and relaxation. Yep. I could have used Monday, too. But, yeah. yeah. So, it was fun. Good trip. Got some sun. Had fun. In the sun. Mm-hmm. With my with my hun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no more. Okay. What'd you no do? More. What'd you do this weekend? Um... Uh, so Friday, not too much. Saturday, I hit it hard <laughs> early. I hit the ground running, yeah, folks. Folks, I, uh, folks, it was a full time press. You picked them up, didn't you? Yeah. Oh boy. So oh boy. I they I got lied to first off. Um, the keepers the bowling government? tournament is something. No, <laughs> keepers bowling tournament is something that we normally our group tries to get together and do every year, and it's a shit show. Um, oh, you're gonna bring me into this. Yeah, well, you weren't there this year, and I understand why. Like, yeah, a, I skipped a, out. A lot of the crew wasn't there this year because they just ran through like a five day or seven day bender. Seven day, and so I understand it. So they were kind of scrounging for people, and I was like, "Fuck it, I got nothing going on. I'll go." And well, I went, and like I said, all these guys had been drinking for seven days, so they were a lot more seasoned than I was. I also got thrown on the hard team, mm-hmm. which was fucking awful on my part. By hard, you mean the good team? Yeah. Okay, so make sure. And for the um, for, for the listeners out there. 
I got told that we needed to be there by one because it started at one. It didn't mm-hmm. start till fucking two thirty, and everyone knew that except for our team. So I sat there at sunset and drank and did shots and everything before we even fucking bowled. Then whenever we bowl, we bowl that if you get hung, which everyone else gets a strike on your team except mm-hmm. for you or whoever, mm-hmm. they have to buy shots for your team. You bowl a gutter, you have to buy. And shots you're on for the good team. team. Yes. So you got hung a lot. All the time. All the fucking time. I told them, because all of them bowl. Like, they have their own shoes and everything. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> That's when you know they're serious. And I'm like. They got their own shoes. I told them, I'm like, I'm buying shots at least twice every game. You should just come with, like, a ri- like one of those wrist guards. Yeah. Um, so, that happened. And then I slumped my way to the mall. Seen you for a second. Yeah, I was walking my dog. And then. And, my ch- and our, we took our. Ch- <laughs> and walking our child. <laughs> and then we went on a party bus. And then I made it home at, like, I don't know. Lights went out. Lights went out. They're flickering. They're flickering hard. Mm-hmm. There's some things that I don't remember a whole lot of. Mm-hmm. Um, thought I was going to fucking die on Sunday. Later on. Hernia, hernia related, if anyone's wondering. Yeah. Um, and then that's where we're at. I wonder how many hangovers you blame on your hernia. Today. Like, oh, my tummy hurts. It's probably my hernia. No. I mean, consuming copious amounts of alcohol the day before, probably the reasoning, but... Mm-hmm. Can never say I that. remember when we were down on the trip, like by like day six, one of our guys was getting heartburn. He's like, I just sat in the shower for like three hours and I felt like I was going to die oh, from heartburn. That sounds awful. Yeah. Yeah. It looked, it sounded awful. So, all right. Well, that's the weekend. We're going to dive into the show. Kyle, what are we? What are we as a podcast? News podcast. We got news. We got news. We got. Get the guns. We got fucking news. Load the guns up. Brandon, what do we got? Yeah. No, what do we got? We got fucking news. All right, we're going to dive in. Did you see this? Uh, yes. Yes, you had to see it. I've seen the pictures. Drunk driver arrested for driving into a Montfort ice cream shop. This is close to us. Grab a cone. You had it? Did you see? Yes. Okay. Did you see? It's Madison chocolate shop ice cream or chocolate sh- oh. shop ice cream. Um, but anywho, cops arrested a 22-year-old for driving through Grab a Cone off Highway 18 in Montfort, Wisconsin. It didn't look good. It's a small little building. Yeah. He took out the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, if we could find a picture and throw that on the screen. Top wowza. Comment, top comment I seen was someone said, put this man away for 30 years. <laughs> I mean, yeah, grab a cone. For people who don't understand, Montfort's a very, very small area. Yeah. It's on Highway 18. If you blink, you're through it. You miss it. Mm-hmm. And grab a cone is a staple. Uh-huh. And you just... That in the popcorn you, place. Yeah, and Roar Out 1. And Shetty's. And Shetty's. It's actually the only three things there. Yeah, other than the gas station. Whatever. And the liquor store. Yes. So, they he, he took out the whole... And this is a small little shop. He ran right through it. Yeah, not good. So, yeah. You, what, do, you, do you think he was coming from Shetty's? It was on the other side of the building, though. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Tough look. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pissed. Yeah. That's where oh. we always went to get ice cream when we were camping. Grab a cone, man. No, you can't. Everyone in Montfort can't go grab a cone. I, I heard they're going to rebuild it. I mean, you yeah, got it, right? It's that or tear it down. Uh-huh. That's true. That's yeah. upsetting. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good cone. Good I scoop. couldn't imagine, like, owning grab a cone and coming to work the next day with your coffee, and you're like, what the fuck happened? Wouldn't have been good. Yeah. Would not have been so, good. So, um... We pray for everyone who's going to be wanting ice cream in the next upcoming months. Mm-hmm. Grab a cone's going to be down. Yep. For a little bit. We are grab a it's cone. Nice ad- we're a grab a cone. Advocate. Enthusiast, okay. if you will. Yep. So we pray grab a cone gets better. This 23 year old, hope you, I mean, hit anything else. Mm. Hit, a, hit any other building. Just don't drink and drive. I mean, I mean obviously, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't drink or drive, but just if you're going to hit something, don't, t- don't take the ice cream. Yeah, please don't. Please. Please. What did you write for notes there? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Went there often when I was a kid. Oh, oh, okay. Love me a good scoop. Lo- yeah, oh, yeah. Love a, good, love scoop. a good, good scoop. Love a good scoop. Kyle, what do we got next? Next up, Rome, Wisconsin. Police officer rear-ended while doing a traffic, st- um, <clears throat> traffic stop. You got, a clear, you got a frog in yeah, your throat? Yeah, a frog in my throat. Um, okay. So there's a video out there. <clears throat> if you want to look it up. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, go ahead and watch the video. It's pretty good. I was watching it here. Corey asked me what the hell I was doing. Kyler, go ahead and put this on the screen. Kyle, video. Yep. Tell him to put it on quick. Put the video on the screen, okay. Kyler. Rome, Wisconsin. What happens? Um, Rear-ended a park. 
I already said this. Say it again. Did you miss it? Sorry, I was grunting. So someone rear-ended a parked squad car while they're doing a traffic stop. The <sighs> lights were on, everything like that. The video is pretty, pretty wild. The officer was in the car. <sighs> they took him to the hospital. Yikes. Her, I think it was. Um, the man that hit her was 87 years old. Um, so this I, fucker had no there, idea where he was. There's nothing... There's, there was nothing else about it. It's just the video is pretty blatant. I'm telling you, there's there might not be anything scarier out on the roads than old people. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Like they, most of them are just absolutely clueless uh-huh. on what they are uh-huh. doing. Take this person minutes. just was probably out for a gander. Uh-huh. This is at night too. Oh boy. Yeah. Is she is she okay? Yeah. Okay. She's fine. That's good. She's released from the hospital. So show the video. Dang. Wow. Yep. The video is wild. You can hear the squealing tires and everything. <clears throat> Are you right? Yeah. Are you, can we go on, or yeah, do you want good. do you want some water? No, I'm good. You sure? Here you go. Give me a little water. Here you go. Have some water. Let me slug some down. Yeah, here. go ahead. Drink some water. There you go. Here, I'll take it back. Water drink, huh? You good? Drink water. Yeah. You good? I'm can good. we move on? Yep. On to the next one. You. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> All right. UW Lacrosse, they they are out for a chancellor search. It is down to three, Kyle. It's down to three. It is down to three. Okay. For everyone that doesn't understand or doesn't know, Joe Gal was fired for producing and being in porn videos. Yep. Who do you think they got coming up? Johnny Sins. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I I don't know how you back it up. I mean, I think it'd be like fun. I mean, that'd be funny. Johnny Sins. <laughs> Dude, the fucker's like a doctor. He's I mean, a police officer. More depth search on this now. Yeah. No, they have three like very, I, I mean, I didn't write it down any of the names, but they all looked very professional, uh, professional and qualified. So mm-hmm. definitely not Johnny Sins. Um, I feel like Luke, UW the Cross, it's got to be someone who's like just a little out there, you know? Yeah. A little partier, you know? Mm-hmm. Got a little secondary mm-hmm. life. Lacrosse, yeah. But um, I wonder what Joe Gow's up to nowadays. I wonder if he's still producing. Probably. You think so? You know, yeah, his shit had to grow. Yeah, make, you know, making uh, vegan meals with porn stars and his wife, mm-hmm. Carmen Sandiego. Is that what his last name is? Carmen, I don't know her last name. But. Oh, I thought well, San Diego was a good twist because I didn't. I'll tell you one thing. And this doesn't have to be part of the Tic Tac video. Carmen's kind of a hot name. Carmen? Yeah, Carmen Electra. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. So it would be interesting if they came out and they had these three very, very well, you know, voluptuous. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> they had these very professional hey, candidates you know. and the guy got up there and said, and we choose Mr. Sins. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, and he oh, came out. Yeah. Yeah. We just fired the last guy. I mean, he's a jack of all trades. He can do anything. That's true. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Yes. But they got three, three candidates. That was, that was the news. That's the news. All right. Off the spin off of that one. Um, <laughs> this one's a little sad. Oh, no. Uh, Toma police officer, canine officer, was killed uh, Monday night due to a due to being hit by a vehicle. A canine? Yep. Oh. Dog. His name is uh, Raiden. Mm. Apparently, the officer had stopped at a rest stop to let the dog out to go to the bathroom, and it bolted onto the highway and got hit and killed. Um, R.I.P. Raiden. You hate to see it. Um Obviously, we're we back the blue here. Yes, um, furry and non-furry. We, we back, back we, we back, back dogs as well. So yes, um, yeah. R.I.P. to Raiden. Mm-hmm. Uh, you never never want to see that. No, you don't want to see any cop die. <clears throat> no, or dog. But this cop was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. 100%. Raiden was a was a dog. Yeah. was a dog cop. He was a dog cop. Yeah, cop dog. So R.I.P. You hate to see it. Mm-hmm. Um, for any of you canines out there, stay safe. Yeah, stay off the roads or trains. Trains are Trains pretty are bad with dogs, a wild too. One too yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, on to the next thing. So, do you remember Gary Canalti? So, Gary Canalti, he's for Channel he's News 3 now. At the Badger football games, he was the guy that did the weather on the big screen at the games. Remember that? I kind Gary, of. And at Badger basketball games, like, this is your Madison weather report. Mm. I'm Gary Canalti. Remember that guy? Yeah, I think so. After 30 years, he's retiring. So, hey, I mean, I just wanted to... A lot of... Gary Canalti. For any Badger fan that's ever been to a Badger football or basketball game, this guy's always been on this big screen. Hi, I'm Gary Canalti, and this is your Madison's News. 
Your this, Madison weather report. This affects obviously Badger fans, but old people get the most pissed off. Oh, dude. News people leave. Be like, who am I going to watch? This who is like, their, this is their Tom there? Hanks yeah. right here. Yeah. Yeah. They're Tom Hanks. Yeah. 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 They, yeah. They, the news, the news means more to them than anything means to us younger kids. That's true. Like, have you ever tried taking newspaper out of your dad's hands? Or like Wheel of Fortune or like whenever, what's his name left? Jeopardy. People were fucking. Alex Trebek. Yes. No, he died, didn't he? Did he leave or did he die? He died. Died. But he was all, but he was on that, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, Alex Trebek was, yep. Yeah. I will say, whenever you're at Grandma's house and, like, Wheel of Fortune came on, mm-hmm. fuck, was that just always a banger? Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Wait. Try to guess. Um, I always love watching the fails when there's one letter left mm-hmm. and everyone in the room knows what that is except <laughs> the person guessing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, all right. Well, I just wanted to say, have a great retirement, Gary Canalti. Yep. Yeah. Have a good retirement. Yeah. From all the bad On Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. On Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? All right, next up, another sad one. Jesus Christ, Kyle. Milwaukee County Jail. Okay. Correctional officer. He was 51, 51 years old with 14 years of experience. He was stabbed several times outside of the facility. I don't know if this was... By who? It didn't It didn't give any information. Outside? I mean, outside. So he was like, like walking out or oh. maybe he was in the yard. I don't know. But... He got stabbed several times at the facility. He is in stable condition, so he's, okay, that's he's good. good. He was he was able to identify the person, and they arrested a forty one year old suspect. Um, Do you know if they're a prison? They're an inmate. No, didn't tell me anything. Like Kyle, that. there's no way you're blue balling us this with this just, information. This is just new. This just happened today. You're not telling me, so we don't know. I mean, this could be Tuesday. some. Yeah, this just happened today. This can be some prison break shit. Uh-huh. But like, if, he's, if he's outside of the facility, it probably was okay. returning him that didn't want him. Some Shawshank Redemption shit or right here. Or he was on his way back. See, there's so much. You just blue-balled us. Yeah. I mean, I'm just kidding. You blue-balled you everyone listening to this segment. Give me a news. So, hey, con- congratulations, Kyle. Hope everyone's happy. You have no clue how that ends. The police said that it wasn't just a random stabbing. He confronted the correctional officer before he stabbed him. So like, he's like, Oh, oh hey, hey, thanks. Appreciate hey, it. He let him know this is what I'm doing it for. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. You know, that kind of yeah. situation. It, for what it's worth. He at least came up and yelled at him first yeah, before him. he shivved him nine times. Told him what he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. All right. So this is big news. Downtown Madison's vintage bar and grill. So, I don't know, a, a while back, they were going to be closing because a Madison developer planned to demolish it and replace it with a high-rise. We're not in Chicago. Get out of here. Yep. Get out of here. Taking you a bar and grill out of town. see it. Yeah. So they just, t- they just came out this past week and said that they are staying open because of the support from the community, support on social media. The vintage is staying. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, and it just goes to show. All these city slickers that are trying to Come put high there. rises yeah. in, yeah. trying to take one of our dives away. You, you kidding me? Mm-hmm. You, you, you fucking, kidding? you fucking kidding me? Never mess with our taverns. Nope. They hate to see it. Who would want to be on a high rise? What, what do you want to see? The cap, yeah, the what capital? You, what do you want? A rooftop bar? Yeah. Come on. Now. Get inside the bar. Yeah. Play shake a day. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 they probably give a good goddamn burger too. Oh, I bet. Mm-hmm. I bet. I bet they have a nice tombstone in back. Vintage bar and grill. That's got to be good. Oh, you throw a bar and grill on it. I want to go in and eat a burger. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Throw a little bacon on it. Mm-hmm. A little cheese on top of that. <sighs> Just regular fries. Maybe some pickles. Ooh, mm-hmm. doggy. All right, we're gonna keep it rolling. Mm-hmm. Kyle, what do we got next? So this one's just a spin. This is a spin. Did you fucking get a load of that goddamn rainstorm? <laughs> yeah, it came down. I thought my fucking house was gonna blow away. <laughs> it was coming down, man. Uh, I tell you what, I don't know if any other state has experienced a tornado, a snowstorm, a hailstorm, a rainstorm, and 75 degree weather all within two weeks. Because I feel like we fucking did it. Did we not? Yeah. That pretty impressive. There was a tornado warning in Rock County. Walworth County apparently. Yesterday? Was, yeah. Holy all, shit. All this happened. Um, Posted pictures of Walworth County. It doesn't look like a whole lot other than the fucking massive storm there. But there was also hail somewhere in here. Hail always scares me. Hey, get your cars inside. I fucking hate it. And get you, your cars inside. Like that, you're like, God damn it. Get I need to get home. You know what? Get your cars inside. Yeah. So. Uh, you know what's crazy is I think storm. like hailstorms are like, get inside everybody. Oh my God. And like when it comes to tornado storm, it's like, 
Grab the chairs, honey. Yeah. Bring a court. Bring uh-huh. a case of beer. We gotta look. We got. You gotta. I mean, what are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. You gotta sit out there. Yeah. Defend y- your house. With this, if you got to. Yeah. So, I uh, see you got something else here. Yeah. Uh, did you? Well, you weren't there on Saturday. Someone came through with when, on Saturday. We weren't at the bowling thing, and was selling boxes of cookies, and they just were magically appearing left and right on me. Like someone bought them in our group. Someone else bought one at the next thing. Just fuck it. So cookies were getting thrown all over. So you know what? What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? You know? Do you have some? You have some here, don't you? Or he's leaving. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he's going downstairs for a second. Do, 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 do. How many boxes of cookies do you think he's bringing back? Four? Four boxes. It's like the cookie boxes. Four? He's, get, he's got a whole box of them. What the shit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we got there, Kyle? There's eight. Eight boxes. Yeah, of I'm a Girl Scout. I'm an advocate for Girl Scout cookies. What's your favorite? The well they Should we open up open one up and have one? Samoas are my favorite, I think. Which ones? Those ones? Uh, tag alongs peanut butter patties are fucking good. Always good. I don't know if I've ever had one of those before. Ad- they look delicious. Advent Adventurefuls? They look delicious. Thin mints. Yeah. Thin mints are always a classic. I'm just a mint guy. I like mint thin mints. I feel like what do you, you do, see, what you do, Kyle. Dose? Holy fuck! I feel dosey dos are good. We try these. Yeah. Um. I will say the one thing. I feel like whenever you're a chubby guy like us, you eat the thin mints when you're like you're trying not to be a fat ass. I got fucking s'more to go Open them up. Them. I haven't tried them yet. Here we go. Girl Scout cookies, get a hold of us. We'll sponsor us. It's going to take nine years for Kyle to open the box. I'm just going to rip the shit out of it so you can't close it again. All oh, these ones are in sleeves. These are gone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've never had a do dough? You've never had a do dough? Mm-mm. You like them? Mm. You want one? do doughs. Are a delicacy. Holy Christ. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Kyle, that sleeve's yours. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I'm not going to go find the nearest Oh, one. just diving right back in. Yeah, we're going to try them both. Okay. You know what we're going to do today? Top five. Wait, is there enough cookies for us to do top five? No, I'd see. I'd have to look them up, but then I'm, gonna, I'm just crap shooting. This is the s'more. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. These are fucking good. <laughs> yeah, they are. Tastes like the pop s'mores pop tarts. You don't make this better? Glass of milk. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Yeah, those are <laughs> delightful. Right <in> my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I just love, someone brought it into work, like the sheet, Oh. and everyone filled it out, and I was the first one too, and I remember someone came up and was like, holy shit, I'm like, what? He's like, someone on here ordered like 12 boxes. <laughs> I'm just starting Who's to that? sweat. <laughs> it was me. Motherfucker. How many dosey dos do you think you would eat in a sitting? That's what those are. A sleeve? You can eat more than a sleeve. These? Yes. I need a whole box. whole box. Mm-hmm. Do you like these or the s'mores better? I'm a peanut butter guy. I really like that. The s'more one? I, I, can, I can eat the s'mores 
plain. Do you like your Samoas frozen? Mm, I was just going to say that. I want them to chip my just fucking gonna teeth fucking off. Say that. I want them to fucking chip my teeth. It, whenever you were a kid, your dad or mom bought them. They put them in the freezer so you wouldn't fucking find them. <laughs> you knew exactly where they were. Then your dad would come home after you were off for like summer or something like that. And they're all gone. And they're all gone. Yeah. Mm. A, Samo- a good Samoa frozen and you'd just be like crunching on. Like, oh, yeah, let's have a Samoa. Welcome to the Shot of Wisco podcast where we try Girl Scout cookies. I know. These are the these are top notch. God. Yep. Now I, now I gotta go to like Walmart or something because they normally sit outside of Walmart. Fucking. Oh no! I got someone uh, in my D- in my DMs that they they want us to buy Girl Scout cookies. Here, we'll add this. To, we'll make this a whole video. If you're selling Girl Scout cookies in the state of Wisconsin, hit us up. Mm-hmm. Hit us up. Look at us. Look at us. Oh yeah. These things right here, when I was a kid, I'd eat all of those. Oh, yeah. Chip mm. teeth. Chip <laughs> my fucking teeth. <laughs> I love fucking coconut. I love coconut. Did, did God make these himself? <laughs> who started Girl Scout cookies? Girl Scouts. Like, who was the, who was the first Girl Scout? What all the boys get for Boy Scouts is popcorn. Normally, you look like get to make fucking not to learn how to make a fire. Weird. These girls are out peddling these things. We're gonna get. Oh my god! If I have a daughter, she's gonna be a Girl Scout. Just so I could order all these. We'll chances, be a cop, girls, and, and chances that those make it out of your truck. They haven't yet. I've had them for a week. Yeah, there's three more boxes. You have three more in your truck? No, there was three more. Oh. I take them into work, open them up. Everyone oh, else can have okay. some. Yeah, you're a generous guy. I get it. I get it. I eat five of them, mm-hmm. just so I don't eat all of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That was a mistake. Girl Scout cookies are back, baby. Let's they are. That might be our best segment of the week. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think that's... A sh- Wait, do you have anything else? Nope, that's all That's all we got for news. Okay. I got it all over my teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you do? <laughs> like a dog eating peanut butter over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Top five things to do during fall spring, okay? Mm-hmm. Kyle, for anyone who doesn't know or doesn't live in the Midwest, what's fall spring? Whenever, well, we're in it right now. It's where it's, um, it gets warm out, but you know that it's going to get cold out again. But you're in hopes that it's not going to get cold again and that you're actually in spring. We were in fucking February last week, and I was fully convinced that this is spring. Yep. And it, no, and then you're going to get, we're going to get slapped for sure with an April snowstorm. Have to. Yeah. So we're in fall spring right now. So we're going to do the top five things to do in fall spring to take advantage. Do you want one or two? I'll take two. Okay. I'm going to take the obvious day drink. You could obviously do this in the winter, but nothing feels better during that fall spring to go outside and drink a beer. Am I right about that, sir? Yeah, you could have fucked half my list on that one, but yeah, sure. Oh, because you had a lot to do with drink? So, sorry, not sorry. Well, I'm going to split it up. What's your, what's your first? I can't say that now. Why? I was gonna say I was gonna put day drink on a bar deck. No, you can't take. I just took day drink. Come on, come on, readjust. I'm gonna say garage beers. Garage beers. Yeah. So let me get this straight, sir. Your number one pick to do when it's nice out is to drink beers in your garage. Yeah, it's fucking the open beer garage. Oh, some people don't have a heated garage, so it's you know it's. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't I mind the pick. Garage beers. I mean, there's beers involved. That's a good pick. Yeah. What's your two? Next up. And this one always gets me, is you get out the yard furniture too early. The yard furniture. Mm-hmm. And then it gets like snowed on. Yep. Yeah, you're like, fuck. Yeah. And I'm going to follow up your get out yard furniture, and I'm going to I'm gonna raise you, get the boat out. The fucking boat. Get the boat out. <laughs> Even if you get it out, just just to look at it. You, mm-hmm. you, you, you wheel that out of the ready. garage. You got to get it ready. Yep. 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 And for three, I'm going to take... A little, a little car ride with the windows down. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm ready in it. Windows down season's here. I don't care if it's, I mean, we're chubby, so um, we make do. I mean, it could be 45, and I could put the windows down and feel yeah, just fine. Yeah, the but, down right now. Oh, man. Yeah. Is there a better feeling in the U.S. of A, baby? Than your windows down. Windows down, radio crank. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're, no. just, you're just living. This is the fucking Amen. home of the free here, baby. Amen. I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm kicking your ass. But what do you got three? This one always gets me. Just like the last one. That's why it's on the list. You think that the snow is gone. There's no more salt on the roads. You take your car to the nice car wash. Get your car washed. It's like, I'm doing it good. Doing it good. And then bang. They fucking get you again with the salt. Yep. Yep. That's a great, that's, that's, that's an easy fall spring thing to do. Go clean, go detail your truck out. And then a week later you get hit with the the nice little hail, snow, tornado Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. 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 So what's your fourth pick? My fourth pick is putting away. I thought you were going to say pudding. Pudding. Nope. <laughs> putting away your snow shovels. Thinking you're not going to need them again. I'm just going to be honest with you, Kyle. My shovels never go away. They just go up on the wall and they stay there all year long. Well, I can never be more prepared mm-hmm. for if a snowstorm hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. My fourth one. Get the grill out. My grill never goes away. Grill season, baby. Get the grill. No, but like get it outside. Put some brats, put some, like, have a nice Start grill night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a nice juicy ribeye on it. Ooh, doggy. All right. In fifth. Mm, I'm going to say it. Go for a walk. Yep. I'm telling you, now that I have a family and a couple dogs, nothing feels better getting the family out and trotting around town. Mm-hmm. Beautiful out. You're, everyone's just high. No one's depressed anymore. Mm-hmm. The sun's out. Every, you know, you're, the vibes are good. You're waving. Vibes you're, ah, hey, Donnie, how's it going? You yeah. know, oh man, yeah. nothing's better. What's your fifth pick? How you rounding out? Mm. Okay, I did this. I did this already. I feel like you've done everything. I, I did. I did. I'm doing a lot of it and I keep telling myself this isn't worth it. I got the lawn tractor out. Lawn tractor's out. She started. Make sure that she's good to go for the year. I got it out. Mine is not out yet. I will say I did open up the shed garage and looked at we'll it just for a little bit. Just peeked at her a little bit. Made yeah. sure she was still there. Just wanted to say hello. Mm-hmm. Make sure she knew I knew I was thinking yeah. of her. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. I love that list. Let us know who has a better list of activities to do during the fall, spring in the Midwest. Okay. All right, Kyle. You ready for a hypothetical? Yep. If your bed sheets were made of a deli meat, what deli meat would you choose? Um, this one's hard. Uh, is it deli meat salami? You're choosing salami? Both? No, I ain't choosing salami. salami. That fucker's greasy. Yeah, I mean, how are you sleeping under salami, sir? All of it's fucking. No, it's salami. not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it deli is. Deli meat, salami's yes, got to be the is. the greasiest deli, greasiest deli meat. Salami. You chose you chose the worst thing you could have. I've also been watching a lot of Sopranos, so you know. Doesn't give you any right to choose salami. <laughs> I don't know why that. What what right does that give you? That you ever like when they open salami? Kyle, if you if you have salami, you burp that up for the next three days. It's fucking amazing. It is a grease ball, mm-hmm. grease pit. Don't care. If it's in my fridge, gone within a couple days. Um, we're talking about your bed sheets, pal. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. It's so you and you and long. you and the girlfriend are snuggling up on her salami. Yeah, salami, baby. I'm choosing turkey. Light. Not, not a bad pick. Light, not sweaty, not not a greasy meat. Low in sodium. Mm. Don't know why that matters, but it matters. Mm. And I could tell people I'm healthy. Second pick, ham. Okay. Ham's my second. If it's winter, I would choose ham because it's a little heavier, right? You agree with that? Fuck, ham would be good. Yeah. yeah I, I I, fully expected you to come out and say, roast beef. Nah, I'm not a big roast beef guy. No? I don't mind it. But you're fucking, you're pick, you're such a phony bitch. My first pick. You're such a phony bitch. I, I, how do you, you eat all the meats? Is that your selection right there? Turkey, ham. I go roast beef third. Salami's not even in the realm. Shh. I might choose a bologna over it. Oh, what? That's not. <laughs> okay, I will say, and you have to agree, no, 
Every once in a while. Not often. No. You don't like bologna at all? No. I'm not a big I'm not a big bologna. I like just a good bologna one every once in a while. Take the yeah. ring off it. No, you're eating like pig guts. Ooh, nothing mm. tastes better, nope. man. I do like a nice dog every now and again, though. Yeah. So, thing, so you're but... choosing salami. Yeah. The, I'll, the, I'll the greasiest meat hill. known to earth. Don't care. You, you might as well just get under a big old piece of ribeye. Yeah. Psh. Psh. Fucking salami. Psh. All right. I think you failed that hypothetical question, but let's keep rolling. All right. If you had to buy a 55-gallon drum of food and finish it within a year, what would it be? If I had to buy a 55-gallon drum of food, hmm. It could be anything. Like, I'm trying to, like, first picture what 55 gallons looks like. Like one of those barrels. Like a, like a you know what I mean? Like the barrel with the top on it. The blue ones? Yep, just like that. Okay. Any food? Mm-hmm. And I get, oh, a year? Year. I feel like I could finish just a full thing. Of, like, if that was all at stakes, one a night, that thing's gone. Mm-hmm. Steak's a good one. I mean, I'm probably not going to choose, like, pasta. No. I feel like spaghetti would be a bad choice. Yeah, spaghetti would be a bad one. Because spaghetti, I mean, you're not, there's no air bubbles in that fucking bin. No. Yeah, I'll take steak. A year? That's a lot of steak. Oh, okay. i do it anyways. That's what else true. What else am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Ice cream? Beer? I'll be 9,000. I'm going to be 9,000 pounds. <laughs> I do that anyways, though. I, I, would you think that you drink probably 55? 100%. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah, I drink probably, I drink for sure a gallon of beer if I'm out. For sure. Yeah. I mean, how many cans is that? That's only like. Do I drink 50 time, 55 times a cans. year? A gallon of beer is. Uh, how many weeks is there cans. in a year? 52? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Fuck. Give me one for week. Sure. I mean, I <laughs> give, me a, give me a week. I'll knock out 55 I gallons. How many kegs are in 55 gallons? I have no you idea. You know what I mean? Like, in, 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 give, give me in a Saturday. Of it. Give me a Saturday, bud. Yeah. See what happens. Mm. Beer. <laughs> Another one that I had seen, and this is always a joke. I don't know why, but nacho cheese. How many chips would I have to have a day? And I, I, I'm also a very greedy guy when it comes to the proportion of cheese yeah, on you, you each wouldn't nacho. Have that problem then, because you know what I mean. They wouldn't have you because you got a lot. That's of so it. much cheese, man. It, I think you get sick of it, yeah. But I mean, so if I had two plates of nachos a day, you could probably do it. Yeah. I mean, would I love it? No. Beer, steak, you mix, and fucking nacho cheese and a lot of whiskey. Stuff. Jaeger bombs. Be dead. Dead again. Both of us dead. <laughs> You're already dead. All right. Good hypothetical. Chili's Chili. not bad. Chili's not a bad pick. Just scoop it, scoop it in a bowl every day. <laughs> Got my lunch, honey. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to move on. Okay. Kyle, I got a tier list for you. We do it in top tier, mid tier garbage. Yep. Subway sandwich chain restaurants. Okay. You ready? Yep. Melio's. Mm, Mid tier. Jimmy John's. Top. Ooh, that was a bad pick. Quiznos. Bottom. What? Yeah, I'm not a big Quiznos. I had a bad experience. That's a joke. Um, Subway. Mid. You, you know what I got. Mm-hmm. Cousin Subs. Bottom. There was from Wisconsin, Kyle. I'm sorry. We're shot of Wisco podcast. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jersey Mike's. That's a top. You can't beat it. You know, I, I don't even know if I ever had a cousin sub. Cousin subs is delicious. Is it? Yeah, I like cousin subs a lot. Hmm. Yep, I think they would have been top tier for me. I would. I might have moved Jimmy down, but Mike's Jer- JM's. That's got to stay. Yeah, Mike's is Jersey Mike's top tier. That's taken it by storm. I don't. Yeah, know I will doing. say though, I'm not a big fan of the Mike way. The Mike's way. I love it. Oh no, love it's like it. eating a soggy sandwich. Well, yeah, way you, too you wet. Don't wait 45 minutes to eat it. You it's eat way it. too fucking wet, man. <laughs> nah, 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 not for me. All right, what what do we got next? Nostalgic items from 2000s. Okay, I just picked off a random list, so there's a lot that I'm gonna miss, obviously, but this is what we got. Okay, uh, so, uh, some people don't know that this is randomized, and you don't have a fucking clue what I'm gonna lay out. I had someone t- ask me about that the other day. Hmm. They're like, "This, I can't remember what the hell we were doing," but someone asked me, "They're like, this was a fucking bad list." Or bad, bad picking or something like that. And I was like, it's fucking random. The other person doesn't know. What they are. What they're getting. Yeah. So, this okay. list is randomized. Okay. Corey hasn't a clue what I'm going to give him. Way to disclaim it. I love it. All right. It. 
Okay. Top tier. Mid tier. Garbage. Yep. Number one. MSN Messenger. <sighs> Got denied by a lot of girls that way. Mm-hmm. Mm, you chat with all your buddies. This is before texting was. A big I'm pretty thing. sure my like quote caption at one point was "kiss you through the phone." Um. Okay. Riz. <laughs> I was rizzed up. Got denied a lot, but I mean, who doesn't deny the, the chubby kid in the corner? Huh? That was me. Okay, I'm gonna have to do mid tier. All right. Next up, could have been top, but okay. Slider phone. Like, like wait, hold on, hold on. The fucking this. Yeah. Top tier. Top tier. With the, and you got the keypad or the... the Wait, I don't know if people understand. You got the, you got I mean, keyboard. obviously, the Razer was the coolest thing ever, but when they finally got the phones that you could do this yeah. in text, that was that was our era. Yeah. We grew up with that. Uh-huh. Coolest thing in the world. Uh-huh. If you had the slider phone, you were the coolest guy yeah, on you, planet. You had one. Then I, I had one. Shortly fucking so, after, it was awesome. Yes. Uh, I you never, didn't have I, the T9 anymore? I, I never had a Razer phone. But they were the coolest things in the world. Yeah, when I first came out. And then they came out with the Crazers, the skinny yeah. ones. Yeah. But when you, when you, the moment you stopped T9ing, it was over. Mm-hmm. Yep, top tier. What do we got next? Okay, uh, next up, LimeWire. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, these, boy. These are all really good. Like they're, Yeah. I'm going to have to go mid-tier just because I'm pretty sure we had to get a new computer a couple times. Mm-hmm, got caught. Mm-hmm. Got the bug. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Fucking 50 cent. I'm trying to download his songs. <laughs> Next one, the iPod. Top tier. Yeah. I, iPod might be the best invention yeah. of all time. Fuck yeah, that was an awesome time to be alive. Uh, when the iPod came out and you had like the wire mm-hmm. and you'd like... Had, you'd like run up your shirt. So yeah, oh, like, right dude. Doodle jump. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, the things you could do. The fucking paper game. It spent hours. Paper toss. I tell you what, we grew up, we're 90s kids, so like that was, you go from Razer, T9 mobile, T9 messaging to an iPod, that might be the biggest change in technology mm-hmm. ever, and mm-hmm. that was, we lived it. Yeah. So top tier. We, we grew up whenever. Fucking we, top tier. We I don't love the that the next two are garbage, just automatic though. Don't love that. Next one, you're not going to be happy about this. Razer scooter. I'm good with that. Ooh, really? I was not that's a scooter guy. Awesome. No, I like my shins and I like my ankles. That's and true. that's, for one, I was a chubby kid. I was like 165 pounds in seventh grade. So no one needed me that, on a scooter. This, this last one's going to fit right into your fucking garbage thing. I already know it. I'm mad that I put it in here and waited until now. The Heelys. I never had them. Ah, see. No, and I get it. I feel like Heelys are popular now. If you got them on TikTok, you're going viral. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Heelys were cool. I just, you know what? I, I would, I would have needed like jumbo wheels or something to keep mm-hmm. my feet off the ground. Cause, like I told you guys, fat boy back in the day. Yeah, they, they were something. Yeah, you know what? How many mushrooms do you have to have to be like? Let's put a wheel and choose one wheel that you could use whenever you want. Mm-hmm. Hell of an invention. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they were good. I like my list. I think I killed it. Yeah, you did a good job. I, the uh, iPod. I laid that out. The iPod. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do we have anything else we want to talk about this weekend? That's that's it. I got nothing this weekend. I'm gonna work into fall spring and work on my house. Yep. And probably love it. Get love it. On. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I am going to be in the Dells. Fish fries are among us too. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, we are going to be coming out with a T-shirt that has it's like the presidential campaign design. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like something twenty. And it says "Old Fashions Fish Fries." Looks sick. Very nice. Yes, it's going nice. to come out. I'll have to get one. Hats, roll pats, roll pats. Sick. Roll pats. Um, are dope. what? It's roll pats. Are dope. Dope. Roll pats. Are dope. Dope. Dope pats. Roll pats are dope. Yes, they are. Um, so <laughs> outside of that, this weekend I will be in the Dells with uh, my wife's family. We are going to the wilderness. Mm. So my fat ass will be. Parked up at a water park, <laughs> <laughs> fucking beached up like a whale. Um, I don't. I've been to the wilderness, but it was a long time ago. I don't remember what the water park is. You gotta go check out Famous Days. That's the spot you tell me to go. Fucking Famous Days is. I've been to Famous Days before. Oh, you didn't like it? I liked it. Okay, but I mean, like that's not. Nah, like... It, it is a chain. You can get it Madison and all that, but um... I will say one thing, and like we we might need to talk about it someday the downtown. The Dells is very fun. Mm. Very, very fun. A lot of good bars, a lot of good eating. Was there. What? Went to the Brat place. Also, there. Moose Jaw. 
I never been there. I don't think. What? We posted that yeah, video a long yeah. time ago of all the mooses on top of those PT yeah. cruisers. Yep. Fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but we'll go there. We'll def. We got a bunch of kids. We're definitely going to Moose Jaw. There's mm-hmm. just no doubt. We don't. And I'm gonna enjoy it. Probably gonna make a video. Go ahead. The Dells. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Dells. I saw someone from Chicago said like the Dells is oh, what they call it. I have seen this. Like the Jersey. The Jersey Shore of the Midwest. They said something like that. Yeah. Probably. I don't remember exactly what he said, Jersey though. Shore sounds right, because that's where a lot of people go in the summertime. They're not Guidos, though. No. But, all right, cool. All right, that's going to be the show, guys. Uh, if you don't already, uh, follow us at Shot of Wisco Podcast on TikTok, Instagram, or you can catch us on iTunes or Spotify. We will be coming out with the Patreon page. What the Patreon page will be doing is allowing you guys to get exclusive content from us and... With exclusive content, you will be getting a free shirt to, or for, Shot of Wisco Podcast. We got like 700 of these bad boys. Mm-hmm. So shit ton of them over there. Yeah, so we got 700 of them. If you subscribe to us, if you become a part of our Patreon community, you'll be getting a free shirt. Um, that'll be more official later down the road. Yeah. But we, we're, we're going to be wearing shirts the next couple podcasts. Uh-huh. We're going to kind of start making it more of a thing. Um, not only that, expect us, we're going to start doing some videos outside of the actual podcast. Maybe some reaction videos. Mm-hmm. Start, start messing around. Mm-hmm. Have fun. Yep. We should do some like summer videos. Like, like we should buy like an old four wheeler and make it take it off a jump. <laughs> or make you go off the jump. Yeah, there you go. What was that guy that went nuts uh, on that snowmobile? What he used to say. Enticer. What, uh... what, what he used to say. He didn't you say like send it, but no risk. Send it. That was it. No. Fucking send it, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy. Are you crazy? I'm still going to send it. Yeah. <laughs> that dude was awesome. Mm-hmm. I think it was during COVID. Larry, Larry and Tyser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he used to jump. Oh, my God. I don't know why that came. I thought. All right. That's the show, guys. See you guys for 64 next week. We're back in action. Later. Later.